I used the wrong move. I may have just killed Rhonda. TK plays here real quick with this real quick announcement. I will be doing Johto only in this run unless we hit 100 subscribers by the time we reach the 8th gym. What's going on YouTube? I am AK here, TK plays, and we are back with another episode of our Gen Lock series. And happy Tuesday to everybody. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. And I hope you guys did something special for Mother's Day for all you people out there. Remember, if you like this, like this content, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button. When we hit 100 subscribers, as I said in the little intro bit, we will do the Kanto region of this game. And we also have a sleepwalk coming at 100 subscribers. I will reveal the information about what game and what makes this sleepwalk so unique at 75 subscribers. Now, when I left off the previous episode, I had just gotten the egg from the Professor Oak's assistant. And I also now, between episodes, I picked up the Primo eggs, and instead of using the action replay codes, which I used the last time in order to create an issue with quick hatching these eggs, I went ahead and modified the save file to put their hatch counter at one. Basically, they're close to hatching right now. All three of my eggs, all four of my eggs now are close to hatching. So they're all close to hatching. And I do have my level 100 Magby that I brought in specifically for Flame Body. I, it's never gonna see use it's literally there to help me hatch these eggs so I'm just gonna quickly run around here real quick and hopefully this doesn't take too long to hatch these eggs once they hatch I'll do a quick team build level up as necessary and we'll get started with our episode so hopefully these don't take forever to hatch as I'm just gonna run back and forth here for a few minutes so then, all right, so we got one. I don't know which egg this is. This might be the egg from the professor. All right, so we have a Nido Queen. That's a pretty good mod, but it doesn't learn any moves. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call you Queenie from the Fantastic Beast series. I did recently see the third movie. Um, I'm going to check all the abilities at the end of all of them, because that way it's still a little bit of a surprise factor. I don't want to, like... Uh, that Ninetales looks like it's got a red eyes. Looks like I got an Alpha Ninetales following behind me. Pretty sweet. Don't mind me getting a little caffeine in. Oh, we got another egg hatching. Okay, so this is interesting. We have... Nidorino, which will be a Nido King, if we get a Moonstone in our travel. So we're going to name you Elvis, after the king. Alright, so we got two more eggs to hatch. Now, Nido Queen and Nido King, I was watching another series, who was it? Oh, I was watching Beegers and Super Saiyan Blue Lucario, shout out to them. Um, they are doing a rival lock right now, and they were talking in one of their episodes about whether or not, oh, another egg, um, whether or not Nido King and Nido Queen are considered species because they evolve in the same egg line. Interesting thought on that. Snow Runt. Uh, we're going to call you Popsicle. So I am not good at naming Pokemon. Usually I pop. Sick. Sick. Go. Apparently my spelling is not on today. We got one more egg to hatch. Now we do have the rare candies that I put into my party specifically for this kind of rebuild process thing. Uh, just to bring them up to whatever my lowest level on the team ends up being. Now I know the Pokelinks does kind of tell me what the egg type is going to be. It looks like it's going to be a water dark type. I'm not sure what this egg is going to be. All right, let's see what it is. Ooh, Sharpedo. 
I call you Bruce. That's the shark from Finding Nemo. Fish are friends, not food. All right. So let's go ahead in here and check all of these Pokemon's abilities. So this is the Mr. Pokemon Egg here, Queenie the Needle Queen, Poison Ground type with Scratch, Tail, Double Kick, and Extra Sensory. I don't want to use this Pokemon because it's a it's a Stone Evolution, so it doesn't. It's not going to learn anything new. Uh, so we've got Nidorino, which is Stench, keeps wild Pokemon away. It will change if it evolves into a Nido King with Leer and Peck. We have Download, Popsicle, the Snow Run with Download with Ice, uh, Powder Snow, and Leer. I do already have an Ice type, though. Don't I already have. Doesn't Galaylee evolve from Snow Run based on its gender? Um, this might actually not, I mean, I might not get any of these eggs, to be honest. Um, Snow Run. It can evolve into a, into a Galilee, which we have. So that's basically useless to me, that species. And we have Sharpedo, which has Torrent, which is actually a pretty good ability for him. Uh, Leer, Bite, Rage, and Focus Energy, but I think I already have some water types. I actually might not build my team up that much. So let's run over here real quick, get to this Pokemon Center. We'll just build our team up real quick, and then while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start my timer for this episode here. We're going to do a 30-minute timer. Oops, not 25. 30 minute timer and we're gonna start that while I'm working on this all right we're gonna move all right so we're gonna take the mag B and we're gonna put it just in here for now all right so I already have the Galilee and put him back on the team um, I already had a Nidoran so Nidoran male evolves and it is gonna gain stench when it evolves. But that. Alright, let's let's put Metadite back on the team. Put Fion back on the team. Put Camelrop back on the team. And we're just going to go back to our team from when we beat the gym. We're just going to put all the OGs back on. We're just going to leave it at that for right now. Alright. And everybody's healed up. And now it is time to move on to the next part of the game. Uh, basically, it's now time to get back to where we were before our game just decided to uh, out on us. So... Hopefully we don't have anything happen like we had happen the last time and uh, we don't want to have any deaths I already got an encounter for this route Lucario A real real loop. um We'll do a little bit of grinding along the way here. That's gonna kill it. Ooh, that's right I don't think it's steel at this point. It's just fighting We're gonna do some trainer grinding It's a Donadale! I want a Totodile! I want a Totodile. I miss what happened to it when it used Water Gun to me. It, something either raised or dropped or something. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I really need Nan to learn something, but that's the thing. Nan's not going to learn anything. And no, I don't want to exchange phone numbers. I don't want to be your friend. See, I'm also, you know, slightly cursed having stone evos and, like, mythics on my team. Uh, we're gonna send Rhonda out here with the confusion. That's going to take out the Machop easily. Alright, let's go get this item here. I think this is a TM randomized. Uh, I feel like I literally just did this the other day. And, um, oh wait, I did. Um, I want to say this is it. Oh, don't explode. Okay. Everstone. Now, if that was, um, what's the, Eviolite. If that was an Eviolite, but I don't think Eviolite exists in Gen 4. I think Eviolite came in in Gen 5. There's the TM Slash. That's actually not a bad TM. High crit. But there's still one time use, so slash. Who can learn it? If Reggie can learn it, see, the only one I would want to teach it to for stab doesn't want to learn it, so. Stab slash on Reggie with the, without slow start? I mean, that's, what, 95, 90, 90 base power with, um, no, with... The stab bonus. Fultzel. I need something to answer to water types. I really... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, we're just going to kill you. Oh, it has color change. That wasn't good. Um, I need to heal you. Because... Um... Oh, do I only have seven Pokeballs? I only have four Pokeballs. How much money do I have? I have seven thousand dollars. I only have four Pokeballs. Oh, I don't want to run all the way back up. Do you give me the rod? You do give me the rod. All right. Which is good, but I don't need the rod right now. Oh, I only have four balls. Dang, Dale Caddy. Uh, let's send down Fiona. Mischievous, stay in. I can handle mischievous. Okay, maybe I can't. Um, let's put Titan in here, and Titan's got knock off. You, take it. you lived. You got the physical. Okay. As much as I don't want to, I really need to go back and get more balls and, and stuff. I will end up kicking myself if I end up getting an encounter that's decent and I didn't do anything to uh, prepare for it. I'll just be mad. Like, I really will. So we're just going to run back real quick here. Use of the speed up. I don't know why I didn't buy them last episode when I literally came into the mart to get the egg. Um, but we don't want to buy that many. We want to buy them in groups of 10 so we can get that premiere ball. Um, let's buy a few super potions. How many antidotes do I have? I have some antidotes. Buy an awakening. Paralysis heals. Buy some buy some repels. Make getting to that cave a little bit easier. Alright. Now I've got a good bit of balls. Because it's not just the encounter that I have coming up. Let's spray a repel. Oh, actually, don't need to. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll spray a repel. What are the Bonsleys when I was going for my encounter? Seriously. Oh, 
Okay, spray the repel. We ended up the magmar, I think, from here. Or was it from somewhere else? Was it here? I don't remember. Repel's effect wore off. That's fine because now it's just all normal. All right. So Union Cave, this is a new encounter. Um, that was actually pretty quick to get the encounter. Please be something good, please be something good, please be something good. And on top, I mean, I already have it. It has sand stream. All right, let me get out of here. Um, Send out Rhonda. It's not going to be very effective. And. I mean, I just want to get it to. Um, I mean, it'd be dupes later on. I'm probably not going to put this on the team. We're at an impasse here. Nobody's taking damage from the sandstorm. Ooh, that revenge is doing some decent damage. I was going to say, I only like one more and I'm going to hit you. Hit Montop. We're going to call you... We're going to call you... Beyblade. Because you spin an attack on the top. Alright. So, we're going to keep the... Actually, let's move Nan. Let's switch Nan out of the front because... Fiona needs some more experience points anyway. Leveled. I would have taken a Growlithe over a Hitmontop. No, I don't want you. I, I already caught you, and I already don't want you. Choice Ban. Ooh, that's not a bad item to have. A Jinx. Alright, let's battle this. Oh, where on? We'll heal in a minute. Because I think there's an item down here. Yes. Alright, we're going to use the repels now because I'm starting to get a little annoyed. Grass Whistle. Doesn't that basically sing, but like, higher accuracy? Fifty-five accuracy, sing. This item. Oh, look, a repel. Actually, let's heal. Because I'm running, getting a little weak. One of the quality of life features, I'm, I'm just going to come out and say it, one quality of life feature from the other games, the newer games, that I is severely underrated is when repels run out, it asking you, uh, do you want to use a new repel? That is one of the most underrated uh, added features of any of the more recent games. Uh, Maskerin bug water. I mean, it's a bug. So we're gonna just kill. Yeah, it is bug water. I mean, this is Nick all day. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. 
Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. All right, what's this item right here? And ether, ether. That's good for later. That's a very good post-game item. Um, I will take an ether. That's great for the Elite Four. Kill me decently. Put me to sleep. All right. Well, I'm not playing around. Titan, come out of here. You have rough skin. All right, fine. Oh my goodness! How are you hitting all of these hypnosis? Somebody might go down. Somebody might go down. Somebody might go down. Alright, Titan, come in. Alright, I outspeed. I'll take the rough skin damage. That was bad. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually slightly terrifying. Um, I'm already out of healing items. I should have bought more healing items and less balls. Bag. Use the repel again. Uh, is it this way? No. I did the same thing last time. Deep sea tooth. Let's get for clam. Clam pearl, I think. All right. Uh, is it you that gives me? Oh no, you battle me. I thought you were the one that gives me, like, hypnosis, or... Did I just... Wait, do I have trace? Or does it have trace? No, I have dry skin, so it traced my dry skin. Oh! Why did I do that? That almost cost me. Entrecrow, we'll keep in. Alright. No, I don't want your number. Alright. So let's just get through Azalea Town. Oh, our repel ran off, which is nice that it ran off now. Alright, so let's... Goodbye, Team Rocket. Alright. Let's go to the Mart first. First stop will be the Mart. That's right, I do have the luck incense. That's why I'm getting money. So I had so much money. Uh, escape rope, dread plate, which boosts dark power moves. Yes, please. And Moo Moo Milk. No, okay. So I don't need balls. I need potions. I don't care even if they're just a bunch. Oh my god. Potions are just so expensive. Oh well, I'll get some more. Um, literally, I'll I'll grind some more out. I got the um, team rockets. All right. So let's go get our encounters before we deal with Kurt. Um, because I don't want to trigger the rival battle. I think the rival battle is triggered after you clear the well. I don't know when the exact defining. Um. Hey, Frogator. Um, I'm okay with that. 
genuinely, I'm I'm pretty okay with that. Knockoff shouldn't. Oh yeah, knockoff. Yeah, no, All right, you gotta he gotta crit. So wow, we saw the entire Gen Two starter water line in this episode. Cause we saw Totodile, Croconaw, and now we're seeing for Alligator. And I already know what you're getting named when you get caught. Not if. When. I will burn all my balls to get you. And I'm going to slightly regret not teaching grass. Seeing if anyone's going grass. Yeah! Alright! Welcome to the team... Dylan. Alright. I do have some mods to check their... Um... Abilities on. I will check those abilities after I get my next encounter. I'm gonna go into the woods now and get my encounter there. Let's get our Elix Forest encounter. Elix or Elix? Which do you say? Pseudo Wudo. I'll tell you what, if you live a bubble, I will try to catch you. Hmm, I guess I'm gonna try to catch you. It just copycatted bubble, which is awesome because now it just healed me. You're on red health. Um, there should be no reason why I can't catch you in one ball, yeah. What am I doing? Hold on. Why am I naming this anything other than Groot? Alright, let's go check the abilities and see. We might be um, swapping Fiona out on our team here. Um, then we'll have just enough time to take on the rocket hideout, and that'll be basically where we left off. Um, before everything crashed and burned around me. Um, Frogator has Drizzle. <gasps> it's only a lucky egg! Take that. Well, I'm gonna keep my Fion with dry skin on for now, I guess. Um, Alright, so Fion is holding the Lucky Incense, which I'm going to keep the Lucky Incense on the Fion because that is going to give me extra money. We're going to give the Lucky Egg to Rhonda, and we're going to give the Red Blade to Gale, to Titan, because Titan has knockoff. Now we're going to go talk to Kurt and deal with this. Team Rocket. We got one more encounter we can get, actually. We got about eight minutes left in the episode here. And we're gonna get our we're gonna just we're just gonna clear out Team Rocket. And that's gonna be the end of the episode. So it might be a little bit sooner than that. I don't care that you fell down the well. Oh my back! I can't move. Alright, what's our encounter for Rocket? Hi now. So book well. I mean, why do I have to have so many water types on my team and my as my options here? I am not a water type trainer. I'm not. I'm. I always pick the fire starter. I, I've covered this in previous episodes. I always pick the fire starter because 
usually you can get a pretty decent water type Pokemon early on in the game. Um, well, I mean, you get the Magikarp, which usually turns into a Gyarados, which is just a overpowered beast of a Pokemon. I used the wrong move. I may have just killed Rhonda. I got so lucky on that. Woo! You ever just see your life, or in this case, your Pokemon's life flash before your eyes as a trainer? That was me just now. I, let me, I, let me. Let's, yeah, let's just move Bide off the top move, so we don't do that again. <laughs> Never mind, nice. I literally already have one of those. I do, on, on, uh, Gale, actually. I hate this thing. I truly, truly cannot stand Swampert. That thing has been the literal bane of my existence for years. Not really years. Um, but basically... As long as I've been doing YouTube, that thing has been a pain in my butt. Yes, because my short-lived Sapphire Nuzlocke series, I think I lost to a Swampert from my rival. Um, what do I want to put in here? Rhonda should be able to take that. Oh no, you have Bite, and I'm Psychic, so why did I do that? What is that Nick in? Um, yes, I believe I lost that one to a Swampert. Um, the, in Fire Red, like one of Gen Rock, um, the Marsh Stomp Swampert line, um, always seemed to take place in my rival's battles, and that thing would kick my butt on a regular. I... It was embarrassing. I mean, that thing wiped my team a couple times. Like, I don't even know how I managed to uh, to get through it. To be honest, uh, I think I actually ended up losing that run. Uh, Spinda. With pressure. Yeah, I think I ended up losing that run. Anyway, the Marsh Stomp Rotom. I wonder what form it's gonna be. Either way, Rotom, is that Wash? Sorry, GBL. Mine, Junior! Mr. Mine! Mr. Mine, Mr. Mine, Mr. Mine! Bye bye, Mr. Mine! Alright. Let's go ahead and take on Proton. Mm -hmm. Proton, what? All right, come on, baby, come on. That's right, I gave you six. Oh, Rotom fan, okay, Oop. I just totally my mic there. So I apologize that created a spike in the audio. I do apologize for that. Alright, Rotom. It's knocked something off of you. Alright. 
Soul Rock. Fiona, come on out. Bubble should be... Oh, wow. Even super effective on Bubble is not doing anything. Um, Titan's <laughs> I just pro played you. Kaboom tops. You want to talk about pro plays right there? Alright, one defense drop. I gotta keep an eye on my defense drops. You have speed boost. That's two defense drops. I need to switch out. After this, I need to switch out. You outspeed me, and you drop my defense twice. Where do I go to? I'll go to Nan just to see. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Nasty Pot raising my special. Let's confuse you. I should status healer, paralyze heal, use, go Titan. Alright, cool. That's what I wanted to do. I want to get rid of the paralysis on Titan because Titan came out here. And Ice Punch should take it down. Not very effective. Okay. Soul Rock, we're going to stay in. Should be the last mom. We're going to. Nope, he has one more after this. Um, we're going to Super Potion up get to full health. That's the end of the timer, so we're just going to finish this battle. Um, Ice Punch should be super effective. Your rock, I think. Yes, we got the freeze. Okay. Okay. Alright. Grumba. Boom! Alright. Alright, we got that. Oh, 14. Veneery. No, oh, that's nothing. I can't beat that. I can't that. That's nothing. What level is Bugsy in Heart Gold? Here is information from Pokemon Wiki. Seventeen. So I am severely under leveled. What level is the rival in second battle heart gold? I found these results. Fourteen, sixteen, and eighteen. Fourteen, sixteen, and eighteen on the rival, which is gonna be six. And the and Bugsy was eighteen, and my highest. I have two fourteens right now. So might have to do a little bit of grinding between episodes. Maybe grind. Maybe just go for it. Um. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed what you're seeing. Again, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. 75, I reveal the sleepwalk. 100, we have the sleepwalk. Thank you so much for watching. I am NK, and I am out. Peace.